back again. Got me some tea in my favorite cup. Anyway, I'm back again. Same hair, same shirt, same day. What the heck? Why not? The kid is occupied. She is making another doll room out of a cardboard box. I'll tell you, this kid, she amazes me. She does flooring. She does walls. She does a bed. She decorates it, makes little miniature stuff. I love her creativity. I hope she never loses it. So, while she is occupied, I'm taking advantage of the, ish, the situation, and we're going to film a bunch of videos. So, get used to this shirt because and this hair because I'm not going to stop and fix it at the moment. It's out of my face, and that's all I care about. It's mom hair. Huh. Right? Okay. So, as you can see, um, there'll probably be another video after this one um, today. <laughs> well, you won't see it today. Am I being too goofy? Sorry. Not sorry. It's just me. I'm a doofball. It's what I do best, right? Um, anyway, so I have got a... Ooh, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> mm. I've got a big pile. You can barely see right there of paintings that I have been um, flattening out and collecting for your viewing pleasure. So I thought I would go ahead and jump in and do that today because I got my other ones out of the way that my um, that were like I committed to do. So now I can get back to really not really scheduled. Never mind. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to show you one first that um, it's actually been done for a while. And it's funny because I um, stuck this on the pile to film because I actually did this one as soon as it came in the mail because I was so excited about it. And um, it actually got lost in the mail and I sent them a message and I'm like look I really wanted this painting so bad and I'm so sad it hasn't shown up she's like I'll put it in this is a an eBay buyer that I or eBay seller that I buy from um so we kind of like have a relationship a little bit so I'm like Abby please I hope her name I hope it really is a girl named Abby because we have talked to each other a lot over the last year but anyway so I'm like please I'm like I really wanted this painting I'm so upset it never showed up so she's like well you have you've just won some auctions so I will put it in with those so it'll all come in one package I'm like yes thank you so I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and it actually came pretty quick it was like two weeks um, she sent all oh, I got like five in one package and um, as soon as I got this out of the envelope I sat down and I finished it and I love it. It is so neat and different. Um, and of course it's a special draw. I'm put, fixing some stones that got smushed. So I'm putting them back in place. If you wonder what I'm doing, um, that is what I'm doing because they've gotten out of place from being smushed underneath um, these baskets and moving stuff back and forth. So I'm just putting them back in place before I show you the painting. But I'm so excited and I really love, I mean, this, I'm telling you, a lot of times on eBay, um, not a lot of times, there have been probably eight instances um, where I have not gotten the painting in the mail, it just never showed up. It's lost in that mountain of China mail. Have you ever seen those videos? Oh my gosh. Those warehouse workers, man, I tell you, they have got some serious work on their hands, thanks to us greedy Americans, right? Um, man, there are a lot of them that I got smushed out of place. Note to self, don't store paintings like that anymore. Okay, so anyway, like I was saying, there's only been like eight times where I have not gotten the painting um, at all. Sometimes it'll show up after I tell them it hasn't, um, like a day or two later, but it's always, I mean, out of all of the hundreds of paintings that I have gotten, for there to only be less than a dozen or maybe a dozen, if I even am remembering correctly or incorrectly, whatever, 
Um, but they always have refunded me. I think there's been one time when they said they would send it again and I never saw it and they wouldn't refund it. And it was just stupid, but that was like $3. So I was not going to freak out, but, um, my lovely friend, Abby sent me my coveted painting anyway. And the original one never did show up. So, um, I'd be thrilled if it did. Cause I'd love to have two of these, but I love how this looks and I can't wait to frame it and I've been waiting to show y'all so I could frame it although I could have gone ahead and framed it and but um I don't know where I'm gonna hang it but I'm gonna hang it somewhere where I can look at it a lot I don't know what it is about this image it is so peaceful and I love it there are really not that many drills on it but if you look those teeny tiny teardrops that I do not like. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of marquees. See, there's more of the teeny tiny teardrops. But I really love it. And I love this tree over here. This is like what my favorite part of the whole image. I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. It's so cool in the house the way there's just you know that outline of the stones and the bridge is gorgeous look at the detail on the bridge it's just so cool I want to live here like for real isn't it pretty it probably snows there because look at the mountains but man oh man I can get lost in this painting when I was working on it, I literally sat down as soon as I saw it, as I was opening the package, um, I jumped up and went to my desk and put it together because I was just so excited for it to come. And it, how, and all, I mean, there's so many different stones on this one for it to just be um, a small, I mean, it's 30 by 40, but it's a small one. When you look at the way the stones are spaced, I don't know. It's just really, really cool. I really love it. And I had, someone had posted this. Um, I can't remember if it was on our group or in another diamond painting group. Um, but someone had posted it completed before I had gotten it. And I was like, oh, man, please, please, please. I can't wait to get it. I love it. And even on you know, the rocks down in the water, they have their little outline. It's just so cool. I love it. I see another stone out of place. I can see the code. No, I cannot see the code. But anyway, so that is my, my show and tell for today. So in my next framing video, maybe I'll work on that and do a framing video tomorrow. But anyway, I need to do another frame because I've got, yeah, you can kind of, well, behind that box, behind my chair there, there is a little stack of paintings with their matting paper and their frames like lined up like they've been assigned to each other. So I need to do a framing video. All right. So that's that after my eight minute rambling of that painting. I don't know. I just, I love it. I'm going to put it somewhere where I can look at it all the time. I don't know where my walls are getting kind of full. You want to see? See if I can do this without knocking everything in the floor. Let's see. Carefully. Don't mind the pile on the bed. That is actually a crochet blanket I'm working on and a pair of shorts my sister just bought me so it is not dirty laundry. Okay. Oof. This is really scary. My computer sits on like a little wire like shelf rack. So I'm always scared that it's going to like topple over. All right, so there you see my art wall. I have my little owls that I had seen on Pinterest and I had figured out the pattern and gave it to my dad and he cut pieces of wood for me and I decorated them with um, scrapbook paper. I have my little quilt display, it's paper also. Um, I have my favorite little stacking dolls there these are two paintings that i've done and then there is my owl wall so what do y'all think i like it i like looking at it because i can sit in my bed when i watch tv and i just kind of like stare up there and you know i like it 
Now, let's see if we can put this back as gently. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> and then you can see here I have my, my flowers. I have three. That's a sunflower painting back there, too. And then my roses there. And then over on this wall, um, I just have my Jesus that I did. And the little handprint thing is from when I worked at the daycare. When I left, um, one of the moms had arranged for everyone, all the kids, she got everyone's little handprints on there. And um, I still watch, follow a lot of them on Facebook. And it's just, they're starting kindergarten now. It's like, oh my God. But I cannot part with that. I, I just, it stays there. And that bunch right there, those are those charms from like the late 80s. I found them in with a bunch of Barbie doll stuff. And I was so excited because I had recently seen them on Facebook. So it was like one of those, do you remember posts? And I was like, oh my gosh, I had so many of those. I wish I still had them. And then a few months later, I was going through a box of stuff for Emily to give her like, you know, my old Barbie stuff. And I found them and I was like, ah! she's like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? What's wrong? It's <laughs> like nothing. I'm so excited. And then up here, I have, I can't show you up there, because I would have to, like, actually pick up the computer and leave you like this. But um, maybe I'll take a snapshot of that and, like, insert it. Since I know I have, I actually bought an editing program now. Um, when I did the paint with me um, a few videos back, I couldn't just use the free programming um, to do everything I wanted to do with that video. So I actually bought an editing software now so I can do better things. Hmm. All right, so the first painting today. Chatterill! Chatterill! I'm going to look at Chatterill! R.I.P. headphone users. <laughs> For real. Lord have mercy. It's the child. And look, she actually has clothes on. She's a bit of a she needs to comb her hair. What did you do to my... I fixed it because I didn't... She had it originally as pigtails, but I didn't like it like that. It was it was like pulling on the sides of my head. That looks messed up. So how should we do it now? Later. <laughs> no, no. All right, so we've... Um, um, anyway, sorry. Got a message. Sidetracked me. So anyway, on to the paintings of the day. Maybe not. So this one... If you noticed on my wall, I already have two of these guys um, up there. And I have this in a full drill also. Sorry, I was looking at the birds. Um, so this is another special drill. So the, the one I have, a big one that's, um, is it, yeah, it's a 30 by 40. And then I have a baby one that's like 20 by 15 or something like that. And this is a 25 by 30. Go away now. No. Be gone. So I, I just, I don't know. I love this little guy. He's so adorable. So when I saw it as a special drill, I had to have it. Because you know how I am with special drills. So um, this is that really cool blue metallic packaging that is so awesome and clear and easy to read. There are eight different stones on this painting. It feels like forever since I've done one of these videos. It really yeah, does. Someone wants to sponsor us. What? Someone wants to sponsor us. He doesn't have any money. He can't sponsor us. Yes, he can. Here's our little Binksy man. He can sponsor us by his cuteness. Oh, look how I sealed this thing. Oh, never mind. No, that is... is it? No, it's not. Never mind. I thought it was sealed down the center. So we have yellow, just sim yeah. simple yellow rounds. These are really cool. I have never seen these before. They're a clear, elongated teardrop with gold glitter. Those are really cool. So those will be um, along his back. So right here. And there's quite a few in there. So I'll have extras I can use on cards. I love when that happens. Um, then we have the blue... More blue rhinestones. Uh, let's see. We'll keep on with that. We have 
some turquoise ones or well they're like on the right on that border of turquoise and blue they're very very pale just a tiny bit of green in there um then we have another blue we have yellow we have regular black i wish they were ab but they're regular black there's a rhinestone in there then we have these are two shades of brown so this is going to be really cool looking I, don't, I still, I want to know why it's always blue rhinestones in so many of these paintings. I'm a, I swear, I don't think, well, I can't say that. But there are very few paintings that I've gotten that do not have a blue rhinestone in them. It's really funny. I mean, he is blue, but still, that's beside the point. So, anyway, there's my little cutie. And I love him. I just love him. He's so adorable. Oh, this next one, um, I really, I'm a little disappointed in it. Um, I was hoping it would be um, more clear, but it is, hang on, i got to fix something here. All of my pins have disappeared. I can't imagine who walked off with them. Crazy little maniac child. Um, anyway, I'm uh, sorry, I'm getting so distracted easily right now. Squirrel! Gotta love Doug, right? Um, so yeah, so this, I wish it was more clear, but maybe once I get the drills on there, it will look better. It's just a 30 by 30, and it is a full, I don't know, I, Emily and I have been on the rock painting bandwagon for quite a while, so anytime I see rocks, I'm like drawn to them, I don't know. But the flower, I don't know, it was just a really cool, something different um, than most of my other paintings, subjects, however you say that. But it's, um, I think it's a dahlia. Is it a dahlia? Not, not exactly sure, but I thought it was really pretty. And the photograph is absolutely stunning. So, so stunning. So um, I was like, yeah, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. And... The drills are not in the place they're supposed to be. Found them. So we have 20 colors, which is pretty good on a 20 by 20. So I, that kind of makes me feel a little bit better about the detail that I'm going to see once it's finished. Um, and it should go fairly quick. I mean, there is, there's a lot of blocking. It's not a lot of confetti. So you can see there... I think it'll turn out pretty good. And that is a glob of hair. Oh, no, it's on top. I was like, oh, there's hair under the... It's on top. Just static. So we have a lot of um, turquoise. No, teal. Whatever. Anyway, we do this every time I have this color, don't we? I need to look up the definition of the two, and I will know for sure. So again, 20 colors. There's the first one. Pale. Turquoise. I'm going with turquoise. And then we have these, which I believe is teal. Three shades, just a little bit darker. You see our PJ packaging there. Um, this is the main rock color. There are two packages of the same, and then that we have a gray. And then we have five shades of blue. You can see there's our main blue there, so it's going to be real pretty. And then we have two... Three darker shades and a lighter shade there. Then we have a taupe. Two more um, turquoise colors. Uh, I can't tell. I think that's a blue. It's. I can't tell if it's green or blue, but it's a really dark. I can't get it just right for you. It's an odd color. And then we have another blue and then four shades of gray for shading in the rock. You see there's going to be a lot of gray there. So 20 colors. It's so cool. I like the kind of monochromatic type paintings because I really love seeing the different um, shades of color that they can, that they put in there. Anyway, so there we have that. 20 colors. And I folded it too small for the bag. 
I have such a hard time getting these things back in the bag. So silly. All right. So there's that. And I've got my little cards here that I am keeping track of my paintings with. And I love the system because if I think of like, I'm like, okay, which one do I want to work on next? I can like be like, uh, I can like, 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 like. How many times can I say like? Sorry. I know that's annoying. Um, I'm just kind of, Emily's distracting me. She's such, so bad about that. Um, but anyway, I like the little index card thing. And I'm so happy I saw that idea because it is genius. So smart. But I can, you know, be like, oh, let's see. I want to do a flower. So I'll go through my flower section and uh, decide which one I want. Or if I remember, you know, oh, this specific painting, which I do have a pretty good recollection of which ones I have. Then I'll, you know, find it in my index cards and I can look to see where it is, which portfolio it's in and go right to it. I don't have to like dig through all three of them. So it's pretty, pretty handy. <clears throat> I'm trimming up the plastic on this. If you can't tell what I'm doing, it's, I, I don't like it when they overhang so much. Bugs me. So I'm just fixing that. Now this one, I ended up with two of. And I'm disappointed because I, I went ahead and got two, or I tried to get two because I loved the image and it needs to be bigger. I thought that it would be okay as a 30 by 40, but it really should be 40 by 50 or a little bit bigger. So I ended up with two and I think from a distance it'll be okay, but he's actually like watching like little foxes going across the sky. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like the rainbow bridge or like spirit animals, but that's what I, that's what I thought of when I first saw it was like spirit animals. Um, and this little guy, he's just, it's, it was just a really cool painting. Let me see if I can get the thumbnail close enough. So you can kind of see there, you still really can't tell that there's little foxes going across the sky, but it was really neat. I thought it was a cool idea. So um, anyway, I have to, because I, I was going to give it to a friend, but I'll have to wait and see how it turns out before I decide if it's worthy of gifting. Um, once it is completed, so that's that story. And as you can see, we'll skip the colors on this because it's pretty straightforward. What's on the canvas are the colors on the packaging. And again, it's um, the PJ packaging, only 14 colors, which is another disappointment. If they had added a few more colors, maybe it could have gotten more detailed. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. That's just one of those... You can't win them all, right? Um, this one I love. Now, you know, this painting even could have been better with this size. It's just five centimeters on each side larger. So it's a 45 by 35. And I am pleasantly surprised with this one. I am impressed. There is serious detail on these fish. And you can tell that they're fish. They are not just colorful blobs. And this is another one I took a chance on. I was like, I'm a little worried. But it did not say it was 45 by 35. I just figured it would be a 30 by 40. So I'm happy that it's a little bit bigger. It'll be a little bit more of a challenge to frame because you can't use an 11 by 14 on this one. But that's okay. I'll figure it out. So there's that. And let's see. Grab the drills. And this is like the full rainbow of colors on these, on this one. So I love all the color. Take a quick look. Again, PJ packaging. But there are 22 colors on this one. And we have our turquoise teal. That's really bugging me. I do that every single video. Every video. I know I do. I'm sorry. I'll figure it out one of these days, I promise. All right, so 22 colors, and we will start on this end with black, brown, deep, deep green, and beautiful purple. Another of the turquoise, that is corally orange color, really cool green. Then we have an awesome mustard, 
burgundy and another red, kind of on the orange side there. We have two shades of darker blue, another brown, another corally orange color, gray. Then we have a really cool magenta, not really magenta, it's kind of a, um, kind of like a pale magenta, I guess. And then two more corally orange colors. And then we have a dark teal and another turquoise color. I like it. I like it. I could use it as a scarf. But the packaging, it's printed clear enough. I can see the numbers. I can see, you know, what kit it goes to. So I just, I've gotten so many lately that do not have BNC codes. And I am just dreading taking the time to sit down and go through the book and match them up. But I'm going to have to because there's just too many extras to not know what color they actually are. All right, moving on. This one is really cool. It's got that really glittery canvas. And I need to fix this because the plastic is like right on the edge of the adhesive and I don't like that. I like it to be overlapped just a little. All right, and it's got, whoops, that didn't work. It's not cut even either, which doesn't help. Perfect. Mama and baby. But it's that glittery, the whole canvas is glitter, which you cannot see. But it's got that like glitter finish in the adhesive. Actually, it's not. It's in the canvas because the whole canvas has that glitter to it. I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty. I love the greens in this one. And they're just so sweet. They're like, oh, I love you. So cute. And those drills are right here. They're in the beautiful blue metallic packaging. It has an amazing key right on the painting with DMC codes clearly listed as well as DMC codes listed on the packaging that I can read perfectly. So we'll skip going through these because it's green and brown with some cream. There's a teeny tiny bit of pink for the flowers but what you see is what you get. So you can tell there you've got the pink in the flowers, we've got brown owls, we've got green background. Super cute. I love it. It's adorable. I don't think I have any more room. Well, yeah, I can fit them in there. More room on my owl wall. <laughs> this one is another one of those super colorful ones that I kept like passing over because I was like, yeah, it's really not my thing. I'm not really, you know, but the green got me and the brightness got me. So I finally um, jumped on the bandwagon and grabbed it. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, the green is just so deep and beautiful. And the colors just pop right out of the back of that or right out of the front of that green. It's just amazing. So I'm happy that I went ahead and got it. I think it's gonna look really, really cool. So this is another 30 by 40 and it is 24 colors. And we have a nice range. Look at how much green, that dark, dark green. I love hunter green. That's my absolute favorite color is hunter green. So you can see there the colors. We'll skip through those. Just to save a little bit of time, I wanna get a couple more paintings in on this video. This is another one that I ended up with two of. And the reason for that is because I have someone in mind that will be getting this as a gift. And I liked it so much, I wanted one for myself. <laughs> so here we have birds and a birdhouse. And it looks like a dogwood tree to me. Or maybe it's um, a cherry blossom. I don't know. I get those two mixed up because they look very similar to me. It may be even something completely different. But I love the little birds on the house. You can see there's two different birds sitting here. This reminds me of a bluebird. It's not exact. There's one flying in here. Um, it's just really cheerful. I really like it. 
So it's another 30 by 40 and it's 21 colors. So let me grab those drills. I think, um, well, it's pretty, I'm <laughs> looking at the code and not even making it stick in my brain. Um, the canvas looks pretty true to color for what it is. Hang on a second. I should have two of those kits and I don't. Huh. That's interesting. Not good. So, yeah, let's take a look at these colors. They're pretty cool. There's some really bright, bright ones. So another teal. Going with teal. I think this has been in like every painting, this color. Then our other 20 colors here. We have black, blue, brown, that another hunter green there, really deep green. These two colors are awesome together. They remind me of a grape, grape in the leaves, or green grapes and purple grapes. <laughs> this is an awesome bubblegum pink color. We have three shades of like a taupe. This is more green. Look at all that. Look at that party going on in there. Look at that. They're having a good old time. We have another green and a yellow and a deep, deep blue with a yellow that escaped. Then we have a brown with some navy blue in it. Three shades of pink. Then we have two shades of purple and a dark gray. So this is a really cool, nice range of colors. The colors are a little bit deeper than what they show on the canvas. So I'll be really happy to see how this turns out. I want to share something with you guys. Hang on. This is um, what Emily has been working on today. This is her art project for the day. Also, so, my favorite project. Too. And her, um, we can call it architecture as the subject. So she takes a cardboard box that would normally go in the trash and she turns it into a house, a room. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Whoop. careful. It's not breaking All right, so we she's need to got, go by the bedding and that's it, I guess. yeah, she needs to um, pillow and cover for the bed slash couch. She's got her um, Hufflepuff tribute wall hanging. She ran out of space, so she's got an accent wall there. Then over here, she's got a mirror and some shelves. It's a flower pot. Oh, is that a flower pot yep. on the shelf? I don't know if I can get close enough without knocking stuff over. It's a pearl that I glued a flower onto. So she took a little pearl that I pulled the um, hanger piece off of. Oh, I see. It's like a little vase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are so cool. You are so cool. Okay. So I really, I need to figure out how to get this closer. Back up. Because you need to see this. This is so clever of my little child here. Okay, so this, if I can touch it without killing it, that is a pearl, just like a little pearl. And she took a little paper flower and glued it to the top. So it looks like a vase. A flower is sitting in the vase. Isn't that cute? I love that. And then she's got a wood panel floor and a beautiful furry rug. Is on the bottom, so that is her. And then the dolls just climb up to get on the bed. Oh, it's a dollhouse, so you use your hands, so it's okay. Yeah. But isn't that cute? I love, I love when she comes up with these things because every one oh, she does I is different. Them. I want to show my hair. And she is so and Mom, creative. She blows time, my mind. This time I'm going to keep the outside of the box. Dos numero dos. Talk about it. It's a Harry Potter room. Has a Gryffindor chest, which I hopefully can move forward. Yep. You show it all. It's still fit. And it has Hogwarts bedding, which I cannot seem to find a touch. And then in here, I'm feeling around. Tiny wand. That goes in the pencil box and then she made books. a tiny wand and a tiny pencil box and tiny candles. The candles are glue sticks. Is a glue stick that she stuck a string in the rubber top band. of. 
rubber band, excuse me. And the little books we actually bought, um, did we get those at the dollhouse store? Stop it. No. We anyway. At Hobby Lobby. Oh, Hobby Michael's. Lobby. In the, in the miniature section, we found those little books. She made a little bench. There's her Harry Potter um, platform picture. sign and her picture that she created. And then she made the pillow and the bedding herself. I didn't make the pillow. Oh, Mama made the pillows. Oh, Mama made the pillows. Mm -hmm. I just folded the blanket. But you can see it's just an Amazon box. Mm -hmm. And then she did the really cool. So she's always looking, you know, like me when I go buy paper, it's for cards and projects and such. For her, these are her projects that she finds paper for. So anyway. I'm thinking about making them like apartments and like glue them on top of each other. Yeah, she wants to figure out a way to keep, attach them so that's one huge piece. But and then I can also we have it. Apart one by one. Yeah, once you attach it, I don't think you can take it back apart. You can use Velcro. You <laughs> can put Velcro on the corner of the boxes. All right. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to sign off for now, and I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Check us out on Facebook. Um, come join us in the group. We're sharing our projects, having little chit-chats, that kind of thing. And uh, if you want to drop me a note, email me, message me on Facebook. There is a P.O. box in the description. description. Also, if you want to drop us a note in the mail, we would love to get some mail. And we will see you soon.